I got a bad feeling about this. If I want, if I want a podcast that yeah, is like... Wait, you turned the camera on already? The camera's on. The camera's on and the audio's recording. I hope I don't have an ugly... Uh, so, we're starting. You don't look ugly. You're beautiful. He, he never speaks to me like that. You're lying. I always, I he always does. do. You always hype me up I always, always compliment you. Yeah, I always gotta, I always gotta compliment Besties my best friends. Poor. It is. <laughs> did I just leave you hanging on you the nuts? You did for a really long time. I wish we had another, another mic, but it's alright. Okay. So here we are. Welcome First. to episode one. My name. <sighs> oh wait, you need to do your, you need to do your introduction. I don't have an intro yet. Oh. Well, say it's just super cash. It's yours first. This should we you need a yourself first. We're not really looking at the camera. Like it should be a conversation between the two of us. Here, let me get let me get comfortable. I know, but are we introducing ourselves? Yeah, to you want to share? You want to share the blanket? Yeah, oh, intru- yeah. introduce yourself. I'm not introduce myself. Oh shit! Just, just okay. Hit him right in the face. It's I okay. just cussed. Can't put that on. My my feet probably sink. Like a lot. Hi. <laughs> Wait, what is that TikTok? All right, all right, I got it this time. Hi, um, my name is Katie. Um, <clears throat> I'm one of Zach's only friends. That's not true. You're not. You're not one of my only friends. I do have friends, contrary to popular belief. You might think so, but not think so. That's why he lives alone. <laughs> I also live hey. alone. Yeah, like, can we talk about that? So why do you uh, why do you decide to live alone? Oh. <laughs> well, you don't live alone right now. Um, you live with Natalie. The sound engineer right now is my current roommate. She's she's, she's off camera. You can't see her. She's off camera. You can't see her. Um, <clears throat> so I've been living alone for the past year now. Um, it's been that long already. Mm-hmm. When did you move in? May of twenty twenty. When did I move in? November. Beginning of November. Yeah, okay. that's when you got the job. Yeah. Somewhere around that time. Zach lived with me for a little second. I did. I was homeless. So, like, like Natalie, our sound engineer is right now. I'm just like the homeless outreach. Oh, I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the homeless outreach. I'm only a person. Yeah. Time. So if you're homeless and that good, just don't come to Katie. <laughs> stay homeless. Just think about the amount of people that like haven't had a place to stay, and so they just stay at my house. So we can talk. We can talk about this. So when. So when I was homeless, before I got the job, or maybe it was the summertime, and I came to visit Natchitoches, I stayed in a couple of places, pe- people's like places and couches. I just like couch surfed. So I stayed in Katie's. I think I stayed in Katie's last. But I stayed. You started in mine, then other people ended in mine. Yes, yes. So I couch surfed around the city of Natchitoches. And so Who's I. Who was the best? Who was the best? Are we talking like comfort level of couches and? <clears throat> Your stay, which stay did you like the best? Oh, yours, obviously, because you're the closest one I stay to. Well, besides Jess. I just slept on that couch one night. Um, and, that's what, and that's what I was getting to. That's the kind of trend. That's the transition I wanted. Um, <laughs> but I didn't know how to get where you, where are you looking for. <laughs> <coughs> so I stayed on Jess's couch, too. And so I guess we could just dive right into it. Um, or maybe, or maybe we shouldn't. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should wait for a different, a, a later episode, huh? <laughs> yeah, maybe let me get a little bit more comfortable with the camera. My face is getting red. I'm getting nervy. You're redder than Natalie Sunburn. <laughs> you can see Natalie Sunburn are, off camera. Uh, that we'll get to that in a later episode. That's, no hard feelings. That's a story from another time. But there used to be three of us. There used to be three best friends. Um, and then two best friends decided to make out. Oh, wait. And he decided to make out with another one of our best friends. Crazy. I'm the only one you haven't made out with. Should we do it right now? <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I, I, like I love that you said it and I immediately said, no. What, would you, what, <laughs> we'll what, save that for another episode. <laughs> what, would you have, what would you have done if I just, like, I didn't ask for consent and just <laughs> went in and kissed you? <laughs> okay, let me explain. Zach and I's friendship is, honestly, we tell each other more than you n- probably normally tell best friends. Not really, but like co-ed best friends. We're probably more to that like sibling type of level. Yeah, so it'd be weird for me to make out with my sibling. 
Yeah. That's incest. Like, what are you doing, step bro? Step, 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 step bro. You know that TikTok trend where it was like, um, this is my sister, this is my brother. <laughs> we we can't bring it. Then I start making, making out. out. That was weird. That was a weird trend in TikTok's weird. time. Are y'all on TikTok? Y'all watch a lot of TikToks? Mm-hmm. I'm never on TikTok. Like, never, I did TikTok ever. reach very specific. Oh, you flex on us. Like 980 views. TikTok, honestly. I hate TikTok. It was good, though. I will, I think, it? yeah. Uh, while you pull that up, I'll talk about TikTok and why I don't like TikTok. I don't like to use TikTok. So, TikTok's algorithm is so, it's like so advanced. And so, I think what happens is, so like I put a lot of time and effort into my videos that I make, and I just like post them on TikTok just because, you know, just to see what they do. And I think, like my TikToks get like 200, 200 views, and like compared to my Instagram Reels, like I'm getting anywhere between like seven thousand to fifteen thousand views on IG Reels right now, and so like it's just a weird comparison, and I think it's because I don't ever spend time on TikTok, and so like TikTok's algorithm like rewards you for using the app, so the more time you spend on TikTok, the more TikToks you make, the more TikToks you post, the more the higher chance of your virality will go. And so I think that's why I don't, um, I don't get a lot of views on TikTok. Awesome platform, great for if you're trying to, like, blow up. Um, but yeah. I think the only reason I got views is because it was Olivia Rodrigo, whatever her name oh, is. Oh, that new, the new. Uh, no, the it's an old one. I don't know how it got so many it's not views. A new song. Watch it. It's literally me telling a story. I'll, I'll link it in the. Uh, like on the episode, I'll edit it in so y'all can see. And that is all. And it got a lot of views. Shocking. 900. That's more That's more views than I'm getting on TikTok right Thank now. Thank you. So I don't, I'm not a TikToker. But I do want to be a social media influencer one day. You think, honest opinion, do yes. you think I can become a social media influencer? Yes. You made that video for what's his name? Kale. Kale. Yeah. We got some other things in the works right now. But. Should we go into, Shoot. did he fight in the last? He did fight. You want to talk about his fight? I didn't watch it. I just saw that Bryce Hall got <laughs> I there. didn't watch it either. <laughs> Sorry, Kale. Please still hire him. Does no, he me like... and Kale, me, Kale's cool. Kale's cool people. Like, Does he like watch your stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to like. Hi, Kale. All right, back to it. <clears throat> you want to talk about the fights? Let's talk about TikTok. This is even worth the time talk, talking about. They All the TikTokers lost. I don't even, to be honest, I have no idea. We'll talk about some funny stories. Honestly, I'm probably going to cut this, but there's, if you bought that fight, you wasted your money. That's all I'm saying. It wasn't worth $50, and I don't think they it made. Was it. Mm-hmm. it was $50? It Was it for each of them or $50? all of them? $50? For each of them? No, for the whole thing. Oh, okay. Like the whole thing. It was fifty dollars, and they also had a, like an awesome UFC fight last night as well. That was also. $50. We saw that on my Roku. Me and Nat did not buy it. So that, that, I think, I don't think they were talking about how much, like, money they were going to make and how many views they were going to get, and I don't think they made nearly as much as they thought they were going to make. Right. But props to the fighters. It takes balls to get in the rings, ring like that. And they he could all, never. And they all came away with some bags. So whether they won or lost. I watched Bryce Hall say, so he got, like, five million for just stepping into the ring. You think he made that much? That's what he said. Oh, you think he lied? I think, I think altogether, like from the time the fight started promoting, I don't think like it was like uh, when you stepped in the ring and you oh. made five million. <clears throat> I think leading up to the fight from when, since they first announced it, I think that was his net revenue. But what else? What else we got? The other fight ended up in a knockout. Who got knocked out? It was, I think it, it was a TKO. Out. Oh, so, like, he, it wasn't, there's TKO, like, technical knockout, and then knockout, knockout. So knockout, TKO, that means he just didn't get back up. Yeah, he just, oh, okay. yeah, and then the ref just called it. It's and, like, knockout's just, like, dead. It says, the fight ended in a TKO, so it's not completely clear if McBroom earned the one million bonus. Yeah, it was, like, a one million bonus if he knocked him out. Yeah, but even though a TKO is, like, like, the fight's over, it's a TKO. At the very Isn't there a song called TKO? 
I think that's probably his net, the net revenue. I think he probably made five million. Overall. He got like four percent of um, ticket sales, pay per view sales. <clears throat> All right, let's dig into the juicy stuff. Oh, why we gotta do the juicy stuff? The juicy stuff's embarrassing. I guess that's like if I become an influencer or want to be an influencer, it's kind of the whole it's shtick two of it. Best buds talking about two it. Two best friends on the couch trying to start a podcast that nobody's gonna watch, but it's okay. We gotta start somewhere. Natalie, <laughs> I'm gonna take revenue from this in ten years when it becomes popular. <laughs> See the difference. Is it is it loud? Like is it? Is the is it peaking? Yeah, like I can't hear myself talking when I talk. That's because it's noise canceling headphones. What if we talked regular like this loud? <laughs> <Don't do that. laughs> um, Wait, okay. so are y'all both sick? No, we're both vaccinated. Okay, so doesn't mean you can't get up. other All viruses. Right. So <laughs> I got sick on. It's not a Saturday. universal type of deal. Come on. Oh, no. Yes, Natalie's sick. We need to get Natalie. A Natalie bike. has this thing. <laughs> Natalie has this thing called kennel call, where Natalie, a poor thing, will be laying there and she'll just go. <coughs> it's because it's just a little tickle. But if I cough hard, you know, if you like cough hard, it like scratches your like your throat cords. Or something. Oh my god! Oh, um, let's talk about the juicy stuff. So Zach and I, best of buds, we had a low part in our lives when we almost weren't the best of buds anymore. I don't remember this. <laughs> I'm no, I, I'm being dramatic. Continue. Okay. So, some things happened. Zachary here didn't make the best of decisions. What's new? What's new? Exactly. Um, one of the times he didn't make the best of decisions, and um, <clears throat> he uh, got himself into a little bit of a pickle. Like I. And to by do. him, I mean. All of us involved were in quite a bit of a pickle. She's being dramatic. Continue. Uh, continue. Continue. I'll never forget pulling up into the parking lot of the KA house, rush the order. And we're sitting there, and Zach comes and gets in the car. And it's just a back and a forth, and a back and a forth, and a back and a forth. And we came out cool on the end. We were talking the next day. You and the other people weren't, but... You're being very, like... I feel like if you're going to tell a story, like, you have to tell the details about it. No, this is how to bring them into the next podcast. Okay. All we'll right. We'll talk about this in a later podcast. I think, I think if you're, like, an avid listener of the show, like, I think you'll be able to get, like, context clues and... Context and, clues as to what we were talking about earlier and to now. Right. So you just got to, like... <clears throat> I don't think we're going to dive into all of it all at once. So you just got to... Yeah, you just it's like keep call her daddy, where like she continues things over time. Right. But like just bits and pieces. Right, 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 right. And so, Katie will be the first podcast um, guest. I'll be, I'll be a recurring we'll guest. Definitely, yes, but we'll ne- definitely not be the Zach last. Zach and I live thirty seconds from each other. We really do. Like I'll walk. Like I went for a run yesterday, and I went stop by her house, and knocked, and she wasn't there. Um, but yes, we live very, very close to each other. Um, today I took the LSAT exam. I'm trying to go to law yeah, school. Yeah, how do you think you do on that? <clears throat> I think I did pretty well. Um, I could be saying that, knock on wood and fail. But um. Yeah, you still got time though. You still got time. You don't. You don't. You still have a year until you graduate. Yeah, and so you can. You're like limited on the amount of times you can take it, and but so you can take it three times per calendar year. But the test I took today counted as last calendar year. So, like, I still have three When's times to take cal- it. What's the next calendar <coughs> July 1st. Year? It's like July 1st. That, does, does, that confuse, does that confuse anybody else? Everybody's Calend- got different calendar years. Calendar years, academic years, and then, like, Because sometimes ye- calendar years. year is, like, January to December, but then right. sometimes it's July to... Because, like, a lot of leases are July to... Right, and then you also have, like, the fiscal year as well. You know, it's like payment, huh? Right, right. So like our budget for Northwestern, like I think I don't have, I don't really know how our budget works to be honest. I just work there and I make videos, but um, I know I think the fiscal year starts July first. So that means like yes. we can start spending again. I do believe so because um, it just ended. Yes. So we don't have our budget for the year yet, and so once we have our budget for the year, then we'll be able to, um, start putting stuff on paper and, and buying more goodies like advertisements. 
um, billboards, ads, I like swag, giveaways, that kind of stuff, you know, because um, we are marketing and we do buy a lot of stuff, stickers um, to promote the university and whatnot. Like this sticker right here, you probably can't see it. Uh, and it's also on autofocus, manual focus. So, yeah, cool beans. I'm trying to think of like me saying my favorite memory with you, but everything involved is something that I really can't say on camera. My favorite Cause, memory. Because like I thought about pub crawl, but think about the conversation we had at pub crawl. Like I can't talk about that. Yeah, you really fresh. can't. We were also kind of a little shish. You um, know, pub crawl, you know what you do at a pub you crawl. You know what you do at a pub crawl. We're all, we're all of age here. Um, tw- I'm not going to say my age, um, but all, she's 21. We're both of age. We're both of age. I might not look like it. I might look like a shimmering 18-year-old. I'm 23, okay? Easy. I'm 23. Um, I, I don't know. I, like, maybe it's because it's the first thing that comes to my mind, but I think my favorite memory is definitely the trip to Austin. That was a fun time. That was a fun time. We left Natchitoches at 1 in the morning. Um, drove to Austin by drove. I mean, pretty much I oh drove. God, dramatic, dramatic. Don't ever let Zach drive on a road trip because he will make you car sick like nobody's business. I don't know what you're talking about. So I, I literally commute back and forth between like my hometown and here, which is four hours, so, like quite often. I'm a good like trip driver. It was I guess six just hours. not that trip. No, let me tell you about this trip. We left at like one, drove six hours to get there for eight to watch our other BFF, David. We should pull that picture down. There's a picture hanging on the wall of me, Zach, and David. We're like the three stooges. Keep telling the trip. Um, He was on the cheer team for NSU, and so we went to Austin to watch him at cheer camp. The idiot dropped a stunt when we walked in. Like, what a waste of a trip, huh? But um, now we literally came, went, stayed there for about, what, three hours? Yeah, and then said, less than three hours. peace out and drove six hours back. I'll throw, the, I'll throw this up on the screen. Um, but I, you, can't, you can't talk about David. He's not, here, he's not here to defend himself. David will be on an episode of the podcast, if he so chooses. David is my little bro in the fraternity and will most likely be one of the groomsmen in my wedding. Actually, I don't know if I want to say that because I don't, I don't know. You know, I don't want I don't want that to be on public record. I want you to know that I've talked about, I've thought about. This is like really like. Definitely, it's like David Paxton, and then everything. This else is like like I don't even know about my brothers. This is touching right now. Like I might make you tear up. I thought about having like a co-ed bridal party because like I can't imagine like having like a bridal party and you not being in it. He's gonna be like a bride's man. Have you ever seen That's that so movie? Sweet. Uh, man I- no, I yeah. feel like I feel like yeah. only gay, I feel like only gay guys serve on the he prize wedding. No, he, he was the the husband. He was the husband. He was getting married, and his best man like was his like his girl best friend. That's cool. That people do co-ed that weddings. Yeah, that's like a new thing. Like people have oh. a lot of wedding traditions have changed. Like I could very you know how I am. I have a lot more guy yeah. friends than I do girlfriends. Like I could very easily have a co-ed. Yeah. Bridal party. Yeah. Like, like together? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I'm not for I'm not for that. That'd be so fun. Yeah. No, see, but what I said is like yes I go and, yes on one. Like, that would I be, go that'd on be a one, fun trip. I go on a trip, my husband go on a trip, but then we have one together too. Think about how much money that no, is. No, but though. like the one you do together could just be at somebody's house and it could just be like a party. But don't don't they already do that? Like like a wedding shower? No, but it wouldn't be is? like a, just the pro- it wouldn't the party. be a shower. It'd just be the party. It's so it's like party. everybody's best right. friends. Okay, all I, in one place. I can get behind that. Like cook a little jambalaya. But even you know, think about just renting out beer. like an Airbnb for cheap. Yeah. And just staying for a weekend. We're about to. That's what we're about to do. At the end of, that's why I'm going sober till the end of July. We were in an Airbnb in South Carolina and going whitewater rafting. Who? Me and my best friends from home. They're Aww. white. They're whitewater rafting guys in South Carolina. Is it the guy from um? What what was the name of your thing? Quad? Huh? What was the name of y'all's? Quad Pod. Y'all's vlog. The huh? Our vlog. Yeah. Oh, the Go Bros. The Go Bros. Yeah, yeah. So the Go Bros. Shout out to the Go Bros. Um, the homies. We've had very different iterations of our our squad name. We've gone from um the Go Bros. The Go Bros was second. The second version. So. It's me, Paxton, Luke, and Al. All best homies till the day I die uh, from high school. That's and so um, we, got, we went from the quad pod. That was our first iteration. 
to the GoBros because we used to film stuff with GoPros and just do crazy stuff. And last name's Bro. And then, so the next iteration, we were in physics class and we were all at a uh, like a table together. And so we needed uh, to name a group project something. So we called ourselves the Black Holes. Um, so that was the, that was the third iteration. And then so last summer, um, that iteration switched to the Joe Bros. So instead of it's a play on the Go Bros. So now it's the Joe Bros. Because we were smoking hella skags on that trip. So and now, now it's just the Joe Bros. That was a good day. That this was a good day. This is the day I became of age. This is the day Katie became a and, woman. And both of them were... Ar- <laughs> <laughs> it cranks. Yeah. And both of them were already of age. Yes. And it was my time. And oh my god, Zach paid for my dinner that night and I cried. I forgot I did that. Did you really cry? <laughs> I literally looked over and said, did he really? I didn't know. I didn't tell this day. I didn't know that you knew. There's probably a few things you cried about that night. Walmart. Probably. Yeah, so I tried to go buy alcohol from Walmart, and they were, you know how Natchitoches Walmart is? Natchitoches Walmart is the only Walmart I know that all of their liquor and stuff is, like, hidden. Back home, you could walk up and grab any of it's that. So, it's so bad at the Natchitoches Walmart. Like, there was one time I spent 30 minutes in the aisle waiting for somebody to come unlock the liquor cabinet. And, like, but what, what did they get mad about? Was it, like, was it They past? were in the, the aisle with me. Oh, uh, and y'all are underage. Gotcha. Well, that's, that's, um... Understandable. That's understandable. But still, that's come on, Natchitoches. Get it together. T- timeliness, they need to get together. Definitely. Can we talk about how, growing up, you know, you think you're really going to live these, like, fun, movie-esque summers. What do you mean? Just let me, I'm getting to my point. Okay. Growing up, you watch these movies. These people in college and high school, you know, these li- they live these, now I wouldn't even say high school. In college, they live these big, like, Fun summers where, you know, they're doing stuff every day, da 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 da. That's not real life. I work eight to five. Yeah. It, I have two jobs. I, I I can agree and disagree. Some of the most fun summers I've ever had were in that. No, and like I, I know that. And like well, we were also not working. Like we right, were, we, we were just working. doing freshman connection and working at that. That's working never, at FYU yeah. office. So like that's really nice. That was back when working. Zach and I Spit every single day together. We really did. And now he's got a career, and I'm still in school. What was that? Summer of nineteen. Yeah, that was a really good summer. Summer nineteen, like we probably spent like every single day together that whole summer. We lived on the Cane River. Me and my roommates did, and there was a hill going down into the Cane River, and Zach made a ramp, and like a water slide, so that we could start from the top, like at our house, and go down. It was really fun. Did, Did I ever get that ramp? Um, or y'all had y'all went through it, huh? No, I think we left it there, and then our landlord had to throw it away. Oh. No, it started like mill doing, so my dad had to throw it away for us. Yeah. It stayed there because we were like, we're gonna do it again. Yeah, that was a shitty ass rant. That was a really bad rant. Because think about else. when we made it. Think about the story. I'm not gonna say it because it's kind of inappropriate. Think about what happened when you were making that rant with me and Mallory Martinez. Oh yeah. When those people came in. That was a rough. That was a rough night. I was literally making a ramp on the Rip floor, to that TV. floor of the K house, and some idiot came drunk, and it's a fraternity house, so like, and I lived in a fraternity house for a year, so like, crazy stuff happens, and just all the time, you just don't know what to expect, and well, I was literally, so we had this plan, we were like, this would be so cool, we'll throw like a cool little party, um, it's a hill, we'll get a ramp, go into the Cane River, and so I was sitting in the living room of the K house, making this ramp. And, like, it's not odd for people to come over, like, in the middle of the evening, like, especially if a lot of people are there. You know, it's summertime, so, like, nobody else is doing really nothing. Um, so we had, like, a little kickback, and it was, like, this idiot showed up, and he was drunk, and, like, he threw a beer bottle at the TV, and it was just, it was a whole mess. Um, but the ramp was really crappily made. It was made out of a bunch of, like, leftover plywood from, like... None of us wanted to pay for anything. Fraternity, fraternity floats and just, like... Just a pile of just, just a pile of like rotten wood that we got in the back of the K house, but that was fun. It's a fun memory though. It's like when you when we say like pick your best your favorite memory together. I guess it's hard. Like there's so many. There's there so really many. is. There it's really just is. Just random stuff. Yeah. God, tell about that lady talking about it at the pool yesterday. Oh my gosh. 
So tell them, tell them, let them know. Okay. Come on, let them know. So you know, you remember Bill, the HOA president guy, mm-hmm. who he was always giving us crap for like, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, y'all yeah. are too loud. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Parkway knows. So we were at the pool, and this like husband, wife, and their kid were there too, and they pulled into a parking spot, and Bill came over, and he was like what are y'all doing? And they're like, oh, that's like our mother-in-law's spot. Like, she's moving in. Like, it's her house. We're par- we parked in her spot. And he was like, oh, okay. He, like, made a comment, whatever. So we look, and we're like, hey, like, don't worry about him. Like, he does that to everybody. Like, he, everybody always, whatever. She was like, yeah, you know, we used to live down in 209. 809. 809. And, um, you know, this group of Sigma News made a ramp down into the Cane River one time. And he freaked out. And I literally, I stopped. I said, oh, my God, that's crazy. You were just playing along. Like, oh I was my just God, playing along. They, they, really they did not do that. River? Which he is so fake nervous, because bro. he came up to me. He caught me. He does this thing where he'll, like, catch you when you're alone. So, like, you have to sit and talk to him. Everybody who ever has lived on Parkway knows. Um, and he was like, oh, I see y'all built a little ramp. I was like, yeah, you know, it was fun. Da, da, da. He was like, how y'all did that? And so, like, I explained the process. And he was like, chill with it. Unless they're talking about another people made ramp. But I feel like that was a very innovative idea. I bet you, I bet you that ramp was not as sophisticated as my ramp. <laughs> no, <laughs> if they made one, he literally went out and, like, <laughs> measured it. And it, like, sat perfectly on this seawall. So, wall. There's, there's this, like, so it's a sea, there's a seawall. And, like, there's, like, I guess it's, like, a foot and a half plank of wood. And, um, like, genius idea that I have, because, you know, I'm so smart. I was like, I was like, I should I should have, I should have been, I should have been an engineer. I, sh- I should have been an engineer. So, I was like, okay, if I make this ramp, and I have, I have it at the perfect slope, okay? Um, and then I cut it out at the bottom, and I build the, the base so that it fits perfectly on the edge of the thing. Like, we don't have to worry about securing it to the ground, you know? So, um, I, should, I built it like that. And that's it. Now, imagine. That's it. Just stroking my ego. Wood. Us all in bathing suits. You remember when Char, like, oh, went? Oh, he smacked He us. fell off the side and, like, hit the corner of the wood. And he, like, got up and he was like, <laughs> he couldn't breathe. So we literally had to, like, jump in and, like, hold him up. It was. That was scary. Let's talk about. Char, Char will probably come on the pod one time. Another fun memory. Memorial Day. 2019. I didn't get to enjoy it Memorial Day. Like, I, like, I don't know. I was doing like, something. One of our friends, like, you can tell your story, but I'm just gonna, like, in retrospect, like, I was, like, not in the vicinity until, like, after the he, shenanigans he were over. Like, yeah, I'll, I I'll later. mention when he comes so, yeah. in. So, we went to this place called the Marina. Um, everybody that was anybody was there. Except for Zach, of course. Where go, were you at? Go figure, right? The whole Freshman Connection team was there. Um, David was grilling out of the back of his Jeep. I was probably grinding. Um, so... So the marina, you really shouldn't get into the water at that marina, but we did anyways. We were jumping off of trees. Um, Dylan, that we talked about earlier, he jumped in, cut his foot open, had to go to the hospital. Um, There's a few people that got their, yeah, their feet open. Yeah, few, few people. Matt you know. Salinas being there. Matt Salinas, Matt Salinas um, had a very good time at Memorial Day, just like we all did. Um, ended up going back to the KA house. He literally had cuts all over his body. Cut his foot at the marina. Ran through the woods barefoot. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me hop. Let, let me hop into it. So, okay. So I pull up to the marina like late, late. Okay, like everybody's drunk, going home, like trying to find rides, and I just like see these random people like in a shoe students we that I know. Already gone home. Yeah, like so they were gone, and I was just like, and I was completely sober. I was like, does anybody need a ride? What not? And so I see Matt Salinas. Matt Salinas, and if you knew Matt, he is one of the goofiest dudes like you'll ever meet in your life. He has a mullet, black, like slick black hair, and so he's just kind of like Gascon. He, he, a little bit, a little bit. Don't tell him that but because like, he'll get offended. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already laughing. Not anymore. <laughs> he's kind of fat now. I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut it. So I see Matt hobbling. I see Matt hobbling out. And I was like, Matt, what's going on? He's like, nothing. And he's stumbling because he's drunk. And so he's Everybody like, I come up. was injured was fixed by this little old first aid kit taken out of somebody's little old car that came in it. And we were putting band-aids. 
Matt should have gone to the hospital that night. Continue. He should have. And instead of Matt going to the hospital, Zach had to play doctor. And so... And David's dad. And David's dad. So I took Salinas, we call him Salinas, back to the K house because that's where we were living at the time. And so I'm like scrounging around the K house trying to figure out what I have in here that I can fix this dude's foot with. Okay. So we, we pull up in the driveway and it takes me a solid five minutes to get Matt out of the vehicle. I'm like, Matt, let's go. Let's go. Finally get him out of the vehicle. Now, keep in mind, Matt's barefooted. His foot's severely cut open by an oyster shell. He doesn't have a shirt on. Matt starts, all of a sudden, he just comes coherent. Like, in the vehicle, like, you know, dead as a doornail. Comes coherent and starts running around the K house. Like, outside the K house. Barefooted. You know, there's gravel. There's rocks. There's grass. You know, twigs. You know, so he is running on this bloody-ass foot. And so, we literally, there's three of us. And he's running doing circles. And we're chasing him. And we cannot find him or stop him. And somehow... Matt ends up in the woods. There's some woods behind the K house. And so he's in the woods. Also keep in mind, barefooted. Finally get him back inside to clean his foot. It was a whole fiasco. Do you want to pick up where uh with David at David's house? So that was the point when Zach was like, David, this is actually kind of serious. We might need to bring him somewhere. David said, Well, my dad's a doctor. Let's just bring him to my dad. So me and David get in his Jeep. You bring Matt. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 And we no. I don't know. Somehow Matt ended up with my a Sigma shirt. A long yeah. So we end up. Don't we don't remember how We're, we got we, there. We get to David's the four house. of us get to David's house. David lives in BFE of Natchitoches. That's just remember that. Just live on that. BFE in winding roads, lots of turns. So we're there. Matt's shirtless. David has. Six siblings Who knows? that were still there. There's, there's a lot of Thibodeaux running around. A lot of young Thibodeaux running there's around. Seven, there's seven. Not to, I don't want to offend David, but he has seven. Seven. Siblings. But one, what, there's six well, younger than him. I don't know, I don't know if there's six. There's seven of them, or David's the eighth. An eighth I think there's eight. eight with David, and there's six younger than him. We're just going to act like we don't know. We don't, we don't know. know. There were a lot of Thibodeaux running around. You know, it was a decent hour still, because, you know, we spent our day at the marina. Mm-hmm. It was literally only like 7 p.m. So we get there. Matt is still coherent, but drunk off his booty. He's shirtless. We said, hey, you can't walk it. David is so serious. And David said, y'all have to really pull it together. You cannot walk into my house acting like this. So we're like, well, we need, Matt needs a shirt. So Zach finds this random shirt from his car. Mm -hmm. We put it on him. It's like three sizes too small for the poor boy. (laughs) Whatever. So we go in. The first thing we see is all the little Thibodeaux. And we're like, this is about to be bad. The four of us, me and Zach, are so uncomfortable. We're just kind of standing there like, oh, my God, this is bad. So David's dad was... Keep, keep in mind, we think like we think Matt's foot is just like, like horrendous. Like he should have gone to the hospital. He should have got stitches. Like So we were, we were severely concerned about Matt's foot. And so David, David's dad's a doctor. David's dad's a doctor. So we get in there. Um, David's dad goes and gets all of his stuff. The look on David's dad's face. I love how we just call him David's dad. David's dad's face when he saw Matt. Could also call him Daddy, all, Daddy Tib. Daddy Tib. Daddy Tib sees it. <laughs> when he saw his face, like when we saw his face, Matt was cut from about head to toe. He looked at us. He was like, yeah, he should probably go to the hospital. And we're like, we, he can't. We're not bringing him. He didn't, he didn't say that. No. He, he literally, he, he said was, he should was, probably go being, get a tetanus shot. Yeah, but he was joking. I think he was joking. Let's joke about a tetanus shot. So, no, it, it, you got to know David's dad. So, verdict of the situation is he cleans out Matt's foot, and he's like, yeah, it's fine. Just, like, keep peroxide okay. and a band-aid. Like, right. you don't need stitches. Like, and that was it. But, Matt. As this is happening, David's fixing Matt a sandwich. <laughs> yes, David's fixing Matt a sandwich. And <laughs> I don't remember the exact words that Matthew said. Um, I don't either. But it was somewhere along the lines of... Um, Oh. Lots of foul language. I don't even remember what he said. What did he say? But there are children around, and Matt screams out. He's like vulgar, <laughs> talking about like I don't even remember. But he's like respectfully, in my opinion, the sandwich is like terribly dry. But like said a bunch of like curse words, and Matt's like he's out of it, like out. Like of it. does not remember any of this the next day. Mm-hmm. Um. 
at that moment in time, we knew we had to get Matt out of that house. So we pick up his sandwich to go. We walk out. Why David decides at that point, Katie, I'm going to ride with Zach. You take you and Matt in the Jeep. This is where BFE comes into play. Zach and David go on their merry way back to my house. I get in the Jeep. It has no doors, no roof. No, it had doors, no roof. And it's me and blackout Matt Salinas. And I'm driving. I get lost. I'm crying. Matt's like, it's okay, Katie. It's okay. I'm calling David. The service is bad. Service is bad. I'm crying still. I'm lost. I don't know where we are. I'm proud of myself. I got us out of the situation. We start driving home. Matt then decides, you know what, Katie? I'm going to be like, I'm in Titanic. Stands up in the Jeep and rides through the city of Natchitoches. Just standing there. David keeps calling me. Why are y'all taking so long? Where are y'all? We get there. David yells at me. That's, that'll, that'll also come. Is that time in our life was when David was very serious. Um, David was very stern. Yes, and so he, he very much liked to, to say, hey, that, ow. Hey, that was not a good idea. Let's not do that. Well, we got that talk. Um, and then we all just had a jolly old time in our living room. Marina's not it like it used to be. I, th- I think the marina, but the marina was never it. You know what I'm saying? No, the marina was it that summer, and that was it. But it's it's because it's the people that go to the marina that make it it. Like as long as the marina serving drinks, like the marina is gonna be fun. You know, you just need to get a good group of people to go, and the only fun part about the marina was volleyball. with the volleyball court. And then they took that away. And what if? Well, and it's probably something simple as like, what if you just get a f- bunch of fraternity boys that like want to have like a weekend at the marina? Just be like, hey, look, we'll go clean up the volleyball pit for you, and then like in exchange, yeah. like. Give us drinks and whatnot, you know, or like, no, take a cab. Like that's, yeah. What else? What else we got? Christmas on the hill. You drink me out of a Tide bottle. Should we save them for another time? Yeah. I don't know where we're at. I'm trying to think about what else we can talk about. Honestly, Marine stories aren't really funny unless you weren't there. Yeah, we can talk about a lot of stuff. Like that's why that's why you'll be on the podcast a lot. So my we have conversations a lot that are just kind of. Like, and that's the, that's the thing with this podcast is, like, I want our conversations. I love our conversations, you know, and uh, I just want to be able to capture that and, like, some of the stories we tell because, like, we're always laughing. Um, I want to be able to put that online. And so my goal with the podcast is I think I'll premiere it on Twitch. Um, and so that'll be where it premieres. And hopefully I can get to a point where I don't have to cut anything out of the podcast. And so you can just press live record. And so we'll start the podcast. It'll go live. Um, I'll be able to save it from Twitch and then post it on YouTube and whatnot. And then so it'll be like some easy as that. And like right now we're just on the camera, but I'll have I'll be able like I'll live stream it from Twitch. Yeah, that's cool. So I'll get some lights. Like it's gonna look like a studio. Like I'll have a tripod. I'll have some lights. Like whatnot. I have some like, lights if you want to use them. They have, I have like the some big too. like. Surround thing. I have like the. Uh, we well, sit there in recruitment. The ring light. Mm-hmm. But it's not a ring light. No, it's like a. I have a like ring. a photography light. Oh, like that has like box? the carp. Yeah. Oh, nice. It doesn't nice. have the covering at the top, but like it still does. It. Yeah. I don't think I want to do some neon lights. Oh. Use those during twenty twenty virtual recruitment. So it'll be nice. It'll it'll be a nice little a little podcast set up in here, and I'll have the I'll be able to depending on how I fix it up, depending on how many people I have. I think I want to have four mics. And then, so whether, like, somebody sit in the chair and, like, they can try to Yeah, like, a different... Ca- oh, it'd be cool if you had, like, different cameras. The problem with that is... You'd you need have to somebody, go and edit you it. Need, no, you need somebody working it at the time. Mm. Like, switching back and forth. I think it'd be funny if, like... It'd be funny if we never showed Natalie's face. Every time she was on a podcast, it, she was just sound engineer Natalie. That's what, that's what some of my favorite podcasts do, is, like, they have, like... People... The, the that one like person that are just behind the scenes, but they have a mic so they can t- chime in. But like you never see their face. I feel like though Natalie's like she has the type of voice that like they'd be able to figure out what she looks like. I was told that at my convention. That is so. A girl I called on the phone. She said, um, she was like, "You sound just like you look," and I said, "Oh," and she goes, "Well, I think I already might have met you or I've seen you before." She's like, "Your voice is exactly how you I think that you would look." 
she was like, how I saw you on Instagram is how I think your voice is. And I said, oh, well, thank you. <laughs> that's, a very, that's a very accurate description. She has, like, a very, <laughs> like, hear her voice and, like, you just see her. Mm-hmm. Without the sunburn. Yeah. Yeah. Now and I spent a little bit too much time in the sun yesterday. Well, people, people of the internet, I think that's it for this episode. Anything else to add? Ladies, want to plug anything? Instagram, social media platform. Um, Northwestern State University. It's a great four-year institution. Um, you know, I've met my best friends here. I think that everybody should come and be a demon here in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Oldest settlement in Louisiana Purchase. Um, yeah. Northwestern State. Anything else to add, Natalie? All right, cool. That's it. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.